BMG Drive has quite the assortment of race cars and track cars in the sim, yet only a handful of racetracks to lap them on. Fortunately for us, there's a growing number of racetracks available from the generous modding community. This is my list of the top 15 real racetrack mods currently working in BeamNG, sorted in alphabetical order. I'll give my impressions on each track mod and provide author download links in the description for each circuit. Most of these mods can be installed simply by placing the zip file in the mods folder, but if there's anything more complicated than that, I'll try to give instructions. First up is Bathurst, the Mount Panorama Circuit. Ported from an Assetto Corsa mod by the LV2, this racetrack has great collision modeling with tire-friendly curbs and no sticky walls. The track surface is fairly challenging and feels incredibly natural within BeamNG's soft body physics engine. The ground materials also seem accurately set for all of the roadside dirt, sand, and grass. Easily one of the best real-world racetracks on this list. The only thing missing is time trial support, though I always miss this feature when the manual timing is so clunky. Bathurst can be downloaded from the LV2's YouTube channel and has a file size of around 187 megabytes. This demonstration running lap was done in a standard config Group 5 Belide tuned by Akimbo Beta. The lap was a solidly quick 206-450. The next track is Brands Hatch. Ported from Assetto Corsa by Colos, this is another one that comes alive in BeamNG's physics engine from the strong elevation changes and car-friendly curves all over the track. These kinds of tracks require good curb collision meshes to work best with BeamNG, but this mod has some issues with curbs popping tires. This includes the very prominent curb at the apex of Sheen Curve on the racing line. There's also no built-in time trial support. Still, most of the curbs are reliable enough to not detract too much from the fantastic circuit, and roadside ground materials are accurate. Brands Hatch is 170 megabytes and can be downloaded on the Beam and G forums. take the Cherry River Voss to a 135.850 around the full Brands Hatch circuit. This is Bristol Motor Speedway, the one pure oval circuit on the list. This mod is hosted by Too Fast Racing, not much other info is available. The scale of the speedway feels great, and the banking and tightness of the corners are in that sweet spot where it's nice for both race cars and street cars. The shape of the oval is subtly different on each side and represented well in this mod, with no sticky walls or road issues of any kind. That said, there's no time trial support on this one either. The easiest way to get this mod is to join the BeamMP server. After joining, the track zip file will be in the multiplayer subfolder in the mods folder, and you can simply copy it out and put it into the standard mods folder. 
is also hosted on the Too Fast website, with the track being 43 megabytes, though I think you need a profile to download it that way. My fastest lap of Bristol in the Blue Buck stock car was a 17.733. I'm now showcasing Dunsfold Aerodrome, or as most know it, the Top Gear Test Track. This mod was made with a mix of BeamNG assets and custom assets by B25 Minch. Due to strange interactions with updates, the skybox is oversaturated and the grass and road are lighter than intended. But if you can ignore the slight Mario Kart visual change, this is a fun circuit with a ton of history. Given how it was made, ground materials are as expected with no issues. There's no time trials though, as the release of this mod predates that feature. The file size is about 26 megabytes, and you can download it from the mod's repository or the BeamNG forms. the Bastion Red Tail around the Top Gear test track in 123.833 from a standing start. Next up is Ibisu East Circuit, a track you may recognize if you're a fan of best motoring. Risky ported this Assetto Corsa mod originally made by Tiago Lima. Ibisu East, or Higashi as it is also known, is another track that feels amazing in BeamNG with large gentle curbs that don't pop tires and tons of elevation changes. Visually, there's some ugly textures, but nothing too distracting. More significantly, all of the roadside ground materials behave as pavement and the soft barriers are sticky. There's no time trials either. It still makes the list because it runs well and has authentic curbs for the track, but it could use a bit more polish. This mod comes in at 190 megabytes and can be downloaded from the BeamNG Mods repository. I set a 110-150 with the modern Pessima LX. This next track is Indianapolis Motor Speedway. It was converted from Grid Autosport by Crashmaster. The Brickyard is the one oval infield track on this list. It has an exciting road course and a world famous oval speedway. There's noticeably more texture rough spots, the main thing being how barren it looks without the curb textures. The lighting is a bit strange as well. There's nothing that seems to pop tires, and the walls aren't sticky, but the ground materials all behave as paved like the last mod in this list, and there's no time trials. Very much usable, but rough around the edges. This mod can be downloaded from the BeamNG forums and has a size of 89 megabytes. The infield road course with the Bastion Hot Lap Special in 133.883. Next is Istanbul Park, a high speed circuit sometimes in F1 rotation. This is another map converted by Kolos from an Assetto Corsa mod, and in its current version, it's one of the most fully featured mods here. Almost all of the textures look great, the ground materials are all accurate, the curbs feel natural and don't pop tires, walls aren't sticky, time trials work with proper running lap settings. And there's traffic AI pathing. This is basically the perfect racetrack mod. 
Other than some strangely colored roadside tarmac runoffs, it's as authentic as you can get. The map is 140 megabytes, and you can download it from the BeamNG forums. take an SPR4 leaderboard tune to a 146, 499 lap time. This is Laguna Seca, the track most well known for its corkscrew. This is an old port by Skipper of an R-Factor mod by Comate that was a conversion from Codemaster, which was fixed by average person. Visually it looks pretty great, with good texturing all around and good environment detail besides the floating helicopters. The track itself isn't super accurate though, with lots of inaccurate curb placements, but that's down to the source. The latest fix corrected tire eating curbs and changed ground materials so dirt behaves properly, but there are some places where the rumble strips behave like dirt and can ruin racing lines. It did add working traffic, which is a nice touch, though no time trials still. The fixed version is 169 megabytes and can be downloaded on page 5 of the BeamNG forms thread. take the Moonhawk V8 Special around Laguna Seca in 153.916. Next, we have Lakeside Park Raceway, a short but very fun Australian racetrack with a rich motorsports history. This is another map made by B25 Mitch. It's honestly approaching official tracks in detail. The road surface, track edges, and curbs all feel great, with soft tire walls and no sticky collision meshes. Lots of care was put into the lake scenery, and traffic works in this map as well. There's a detailed short rallycross course too, but the dirt road sections aren't as detailed and have some jagged spots. I'd love to see that one detail improved, as everything else is perfect. All of the lakeside circuits have time trials with working rolling starts. You can find this map at 222 megabytes on the BeamNG repository, or the forums. I take the 200BX Type LS to a 106-249. This is Le Mans Circuit de la Sarthe, the legendary French endurance racing circuit. It's another conversion of a conversion from R Factor 2 to Assetto Corsa to BMG by Zoli145, Tiago Lima, Jim Lloyd, Terra21, Cincinnatus, and Colas, respectively. The track generally looks as it should outside of a couple texture glitches or obvious seams and ground materials are accurate. I never found any sticky walls and most of the curbs are great. 
but I've had the apex curb at the end of the back straight pop my tires. There's also no time trials or traffic. This is a must have if you like Le Mans, but there are more fully featured racetrack mods here. I'm that weirdo that enjoys the Bugatti circuit far more and wish it were here, but that's probably just me. This mod can be downloaded from the BeamNG forums and is 297 megabytes. I take the Belide Club Racer around Le Mans in 441.667. This next track is Autodrome Most, a fairly high speed track full of sweeping turns in the Czech Republic. It was ported by Expect from an Assetto Corsa mod. The graphics here are more than reasonable, although the track is devoid of roadside braking markers. There's some nice curb variety and accuracy, but also plenty that looks simplified or tall compared to track footage. Ground materials are accurate, and there's no tire-eating curbs or sticky walls. The time trials are broken for me in the current version, though. Plus, there is no traffic support. Overall, still one of the nicer tracks on the list. You can download this 147 megabytes mod on the BeamNG repository.
chicane version with a 136, 233 in the Vavas Hill Climb Card. The Nürburgring needs no introduction in the sim racing community. This is the GP circuit, but it and the Nordschleife are both featured and connected, complete with full-time trial support. It's an Assetto Core support by Kirby Guy, and one of the nicest looking textured maps in its latest version. It's also had many of its initial wall collision and curb issues fixed. A couple spots, mostly off the racing line, can still eat tires though. The larger Nordschleife track specifically supports traffic as well. This is an essential track for sure. The map comes in at a whopping 435 megabytes and can be downloaded on Kirby Guy's YouTube channel. The 200BX track car sets a 134.316 on the GP short circuit. The next track is Road Atlanta, a flowing US circuit made in BeamNG with LiDAR data by UNC and fixed for current BeamNG by Scimitar. It looks very nice with plenty of track details and all accurate ground materials, though there's some mild Z fighting between curbs and roads. It still gets extra points for being the only mod on this list with working nighttime track lighting. I've noticed no wall collision or curb issues whatsoever, and traffic functions as well. Time trials are working, but rolling starts are broken and require you to teleport onto the track to use them. All in all, this is another standout mod on the list. You can download the fixed version of this mod on page 1 of the BeamNG thread at 47 megabytes. You may need to clear cache first if you've used this mod before. series race car sets a 129.698 here. This is Spa-Francorchamps, the track used in my first Cobalt Motorsports League race. This is another Assetto core support done by Kirby Guy. It looks great and feels great with accurate ground materials and wall collisions. Time trials are fully supported as well. There is a spot where the road itself can randomly eat tires though, especially in high stakes league races. I believe the latest PBR version actually fixed all of the issues I previously had and added traffic support, so. Despite my extraordinarily awful luck with flat tires, this is a well-executed version of a legendary circuit. The mod is about 288 megabytes and it can be downloaded from Kirby Guy's YouTube channel.
Spa in 229.831 with the K-Series track day. Last but not least is Suzuka Circuit, ported from Assetto Corsa Competizione by Kirby Guy. This one is a little rougher as it's still more work in progress, but more than usable. Some textures are a little odd, but in general it looks pretty decent. Most of the ground materials are accurate, but I believe one of the updates broke the curb runoffs material, so they behave as a slippery off-road surface to the detriment of the racing line now. Time trials are still functional and everything else works, so it's pretty great even if it could use a hotfix. The download is available on Kirby Guy's channel at 130 megabytes. take the Civetta Bolide Group 4 Asphalt Rally to a time of 2.16.8.15. And that's my list! There's plenty of real-world hill climbs and toges, plus some real tracks dedicated to off-road drifting or carts, and fictional maps as well, but the fun of these is that they're more commonly shared between multiple sims with many real-life records to compare yourself against. There's also some half-broken mods that still function if you want to try and get some Lime Rock or Monaco action going. Hopefully you found some of your favorites on here, or maybe you discovered some new racetracks to try. If you find any hidden gems or have any questions, feel free to leave a comment.